VMP at arch VMP, VMP, VMP is my pain God is my shaper All day, every day Oh man, what it is, what it is, man. What's up? What is up with you, man? What's up? What's up? What's up? What- yo, 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 yo. Welcome to FKU Africa Podcast. That's your host, Maneza F8. Uh, we're keeping it real. We're still cool, man. Uh, I don't think we are, I can say again in these COVID times because it seems like now things have settled in. Not saying that it's gone, but um, things are a little bit settled now uh, with the with the with the Jeff. People are being Jeff and. Um, uh, I guess they are, they are, they are, the numbers are not going up as much now. Hospitalization is not as much. People are not dying as much, which is good. So um, now uh, 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 cough, cough is the thing that uh, of the past, we're no longer talking really about it now. Uh, so be- uh, before we get into it, make sure just that, that you you do get to, to subscribe to the podcast on YouTube. Uh, if you haven't, uh, uh, but I prefer you to check it out on the website, uh, maneza f 8co.za M-A-N-E, the F8.co.za, that's the website. Uh, so you can just uh, go into the website, you can go straight there on the website and browse and, and check the um, uh, the podcast, is there, FKU podcast, this is where you check the podcast or you just come uh, to click here in this button. If you are not watching, you just click there uh, and put on your, your your email and name so that I can I can email you when the uh, podcast came so that uh, you can get reminded because other people like to watch the podcast at work. So uh, maybe you don't have Facebook or you just saw this podcast by mistake at work. So uh, uh, it's important for me to to get a hold of you and just uh, update you on what is going on, man. Uh, this information is needed. So uh, yeah, this is where you get the podcast. You get to listen. This is the, the last episode, episode sixty-five. Now we are on episode sixty-six. That's great. Uh, if you feel like saying anything, you just come to this button, uh, this this WhatsApp button, man. Uh, you just came in here and click here and and just write something. Uh, my special on your phone, it will be easier. You can just press send, it goes straight. Now I have to I have to put on uh, my, my my phone barcode and all that. But yeah, for you on your phone, it's easy. You just put on whatever you want to talk about that happened on during what you were listening. Or you can just uh, donate if you feel like... Uh, uh, you like what you what you hear or like uh, what you see? Just donate so that you can make the website uh, look beautiful and maintain it. Because as you know, um, well, websites are being uh, paid for, hosted, uh, monthly hosting and stuff. So we maintain that. So people who are donating, uh, appreciate it. Appreciate it very much. It's easy to donate. You just click uh, add to cart and go and pay. I uh, can just buy the music. It's here. The album is on sale, as you can see. It's on sale, and uh, the first single, Maneza featuring Sabotage, is also on sale. Uh, Maneza FA featuring Red Tex and Black, and Black Calamau is also on uh, on cheap price, 10 rand. Uh, yeah, man, featuring Gale is a gospel song. It's nice. Uh, if you feel like uh, watching it instead of listening, you can just watch here on, on the website. It's easier to watch here, yeah, man. Yeah, it's it's also cool for me, uh, f- because uh, these things count by the time you spend on the uh, on the website. You see, so 
it's it's great and the ads don't ignore them if you feel like you see something if you like guitars uh just click the guitar you see just click the guitar and uh you know it's cool man click the guitar and uh i get something out of that you know so uh it's good for for both of us you get your guitar i get my ones and two or you prefer to go to to youtube it's cool you can come here and and, and click like you see it's um so i don't really promote youtube now so that's why the views are are so small so you comment here yeah. you subscribe i uh, see I, my subscribers got a little bit less are there so anyway man let's get to the topic of today uh so the topic of today we're going to talk about this 15 million rent data 15 million rent data man <sighs> things that are happening in south africa man are crazy it's really crazy so recently i was talking to my guy Marcy. he's he's just telling me about this 15 million rent stadium that you saw on, on on facebook and all that and tweet and stuff say so, yeah, i just saw this you can't believe um it's just a field with a few um stands um i made up stands with uh like just a uh, just one-sided stairs not even one-sided just a small stands like uh they are like uh, i think 15 meters each there are two of them i'm like oh, this is 15 million and he showed me the picture I was like what so i uh, i just let me just say um i check out on uh, on um uh and yeah this is the stand this is the stand man uh that this is the field they don't even have proper ribbons where they are cutting this this is this is what they use on the construction man they're using this so this is this is i think this is queenstown so look at the stands this is all this is what 15 million rent costs this is what happened this is the field this is the field you see this is the, i think it's in the school i think i think this is a school or just next to the school so this is a field tracks they just uh, painted field tracks there man uh uh I I I I don't really know what is really happening man. Oh this is this is the 15 million state I mean in a nutshell. This is the 15 million state. Now. This is the 15 million state now, man. And um after that I saw um in the news uh people are talking about it on facebook people are posting it all over the place people are angry yes as you should you should be angry for the waste of your money man because no one will even explain what has happened no one can even explain uh in that 50 million what what in, in what 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 costs have have been uh are taken out out of that and who paid what and the sleeps the documentations nothing uh, no one will explain anything no one will even care because 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 this now has been publicized and made into national news uh, the, uh, i foresee government opening an investigation uh of what has happened uh what uh what kind of spending child that has take, taken place that will happen and um uh, and you will hear all sort of excuses when it comes to documentation when it comes to tracking the money of uh, purchases what who purchased what and where's the records uh who was given money for what because it's when it comes to, to projects like this there's different tenders that are taking place there's people that should be building these stands. There are people that should be uh, 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 making sure that the field is level, construction, poles. Uh, on the news, I saw some of the poles have, have, are even down by now. So let me just read on uh, the Eastern Cape government wants explanation for 15 million sport facility. 
Yeah, of course. Um, Eastern Cape MEC co uh, for cooperative government. Olile Ata Ata has called for an intermediate explanation for the Nkokichima local municipality after unveiling sporting field that did not appear to justify the million rand uh, poured into a, a so-called state of the art facility. <laughs> <laughs> a state of the art, the so called state of the art facility. Man, this is the state of the art facility that they're talking about. I cannot believe this. This is a state of the art facility. Look at my people. They are wearing these uh, yellow shirts for ANC. They are being taken for a ride, man. Look, these are my people there in Queenstown. I just I just passed Queenstown when I'm going to uh, a home from from Cape Town. I pass in there. Uh, I stop there. I have family that that stay there. I have my guy that stay there that um, I grow up with. So I used to call him and say, um, "I'm here. I'm around." Then we hang out. These are my people, and it's 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 crazy if um, it's crazy. It's really crazy to see this happening. So at these people supposed to be joyous. They're supposed to celebrate the new facility and, and be proud for their kids to go and play in there. But uh, for them, they they don't even understand what was the budget. They don't even care what was the budget. They just care that in a way that their kids will have something to go and look forward to. They would go and play. I think it's a little better than what it was. Uh, uh, so... They they will celebrate, of course, but uh, people who actually know what 15 million should produce at least should get answers because most of these people are local people who are just uh, living and just surviving, uh, making ends meet for their kids and all that, man. So uh, I'm not expecting them not to be joyous and be and be happy to see such things because in the rural areas it's it's not, it's hard even to to have stands even where i'm staying where i'm coming from in the in in in, in tom or in in kuzi man uh, we, we we don't even have a field in there the field that we have is the field that we build our own is the field that we we build our own if you see a, a place that is a little bit flatter you just put on the poles there and dig around, just a, a small thing, so that you will notice if the pole has, has passed the, the field for a crow in. So we build it ourselves, even in the school where I was studying. We still play there in, um, during holidays. Um, I would, uh, we have the team there that, that plays, we cough up the money, and the winner takes all kind of thing. So... There is a passion for sport. There is a passion for football in the Eastern Cape. But with such things, with such greedy people who just take all the money for, for themselves and leave people hanging like this, it's just crazy. And it's just scary for, to think uh, now we are more than 25 years into the democracy and nothing has been done by our government. Nothing has been done to rectify these kind of things, man. And we saw these things over and over again. There was a rank that we saw in Tom that they say that cost uh, around 15 million as well. I think they lacked the budget of 15 million because it's not noticeable. It is, it is really not noticeable in a global scale, in a national scale. It's, it, those are the, th the money that they just take and spread around them, and they just keep on having these projects that are running for 15 million, 15 million there, 15 million there, 15 million there, and spread the money around themselves and just uh, build something, let's say, for two or 3,000, and then say, okay, this is this is it. Yeah, man, if you can see the rank, it's, it's, it's totally... Uh, let me just see, see if I can... Uh, I can, I can see see it. Uh, takes here and I don't know. Uh, uh, this is not it. No. Nah, it's it's not here. <sighs> uh, for but uh, man, all I want to say is that. For us to get out of this, I think it's it's just now in, in, in our hands to change the governance, man. 
We just need to change the governance. One November, people need to go and vote and change this government, man. It's, they failed. They totally failed. It's not, a, it's not a matter of loyalty, a matter of wanting to go to another party or, 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 or something. It's just a matter of knowing and seeing, seeing the results, man. Because we can see, everyone can see that they failed. So what, what, what needs to happen now is to take them out before we see the kinds of uh, revolutions and rebellions that are happening in other countries. We see it happening in, in, uh, in Swaziland. People are rebelling against the, the, the chief in there. We see it happening in Mozambique. People are being killed by numbers, by people who are by rebels. We see it happening in Nigeria. Uh, Boko Haram just, took, or just takes over city by city. Uh, we see it happening in, in Congo, in, in, in Ghana, when they took out Kwame Nkrumah. We saw it happening all over Africa. We don't want to see such thing. They don't, we just need them to leave. We just need to, them to live happily. In, in Western Cape, it's, 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 it's good because the, the majority that controls the Eastern Cape, the Western Cape is another government, it's DA. So uh, it's a challenge for them. It's a challenge for them. So it, it would be good if uh, UTM can take Eastern Cape, IFP take KZN, EFF can take Lumpombo, uh, Northern Cape probably, or Northwest. And, and they can just be left with inlands because um, they or just lose it all for, 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 for. because uh, they don't do anything for people. They don't, uh, they didn't do anything for the past all over 25 years, man. And now we're getting to the point where people are getting tired. We're getting to the point where we see the, the small revolutions. We see a lot of parties are being formed. When those little bit of formations are coming together and forming a big thing, we're going to see a lot of rebellions. So this is what we don't see. we don't want. You as a person that stays in in village or city or or town or urban area, you need to go and vote and take them out before we see uh, a rebellions that will share blood people being killed. We don't want to see those things. It's up to you to go and change it and change this and vote for whoever you want to vote for beside ANC because they had failed. It's evident that they have failed. You can see all over when you're walking around, the municipalities are crash. The buildings are in town, man. The buildings are crash in town. They are dirty. They are, they are falling apart. In the past 20 years or so, you tell me that there is not even a new town that was built by, the, by, by this, by, by this uh, ANC. There is no new town at all. Nothing that is significant that we can say this one was built by. And we can all be proud of nothing. Everything that has been built is an, is an extension or modification of what was there of what was here during the time that they took over from the apartheid. And most of those infrastructures are down to the, to the dust. Uh, man, railway stations, uh, uh, sh shops that were, were big in the townships, factories that were in the industrial areas. I'm talking a lot and lot and lot of infrastructure that was uh, built by the, the apartheid government, the only thing that ANC needed to do is to extend on it and, and maintain some of it. They, they failed to maintain. They couldn't even extend some of those uh, some of those uh, infrastructure and facilities. They have they have fallen apart. If you can see the railway stations in Cape Town, in 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 Gauteng, in Eastern Cape. They are flat, 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 flat. They are down to the dust, and no one is taken care. Is take is taking is taking it and is ta is been taken to account for those kind of things. No one to account at all. All we need to now to do is to just take them out because they. So I just want to run through the the Phoenix story with the DA man. Uh, so 
we 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 saw uh you see this is uh uh phoenix kzn that's where uh people were killed black people were killed mostly by the indians uh during the times of looting uh you can see that on episode um i think it's episode 58 59 uh i think this uh my mom me uh, I think it's uh it's episode fifty nine. You can see that in episode sixty. Yeah, that's no no no. In episode fifty five, yes, this is episode fifty five. Uh, what have taken place? I think I also explained it somewhere in these episodes. But mostly, can check episode fifty five. So, um, black people were killed in um in Phoenix. So, the DA. It's um, it's taking part in the trying to get some votes for, uh, with with Indians and get and get some uh, uh, some kind of a number with them because um, in case at end they are they are next to nothing. I think they are number three or number four. The highest party was ANC, IFP, and EFF. Then the DA, I think, or oh, is number three. I'm not sure. So they're trying to get traction in 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 case at end. So uh, because uh, people were calling um, the Indians racist for killing those black people who were trying to loot their properties. So in either side, no one is right. But I, you, I, I lean on the side of those that have lost their lives. Losing your your stock in the shop, and losing your son and losing your husband is totally different things. So, when it comes to what have taken place, then the DA came in and said um, they called you racist, the ANC called you racist, and uh, the DA calls you heroes. So this called uh, this caused a more of a uh, Maverick. <laughs> this caused uh, a man here, man. Uh, people were talking about it. People are angry about it. Uh, and this is divisive uh, in a number of ways. We don't need those kind of device, div, uh, divisive ways, uh, divisive um, uh, speeches, divisive uh, banners, posters. We need to get try to unite more than this. So. Uh, this this has caused a lot of uh, uh, rift and caused a lot of um, talks in the news uh, because people are angry for this. Uh, I'm also I'm not I, I wouldn't say I'm angry, but um, I'm disappointed for the fact that I'm right. I'm always right because I did say that the D, the DA is not for you as a black person, even a white person, if you are white and you, you, you hate people who are divisive, people who are racist, DA is not for you as well. This goes to everyone because we don't need the kind of statements from the parties that supposedly uh, uh, is for the people, represents the people. We need those kind of statements coming from people who are sitting in the corner gossiping, not for people who are running for presidents, people who are running for government. We expect high standard of thinking. We expect high standard of unity. We expect high standard of uh, providing the infrastructure and delivering in what they are promising, not divide. Uh, 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 dividing the country, we don't expect those kind of things happening from the uh, the most powerful opposition opposition party. So, with that being said, man, uh, I hope you did enjoy this episode. Uh, I don't want to make it a, a longer. I want you to enjoy bits and bits of information. Uh, I know, man, um, people are busy out there, so I don't want to keep you long. Um, let's make sure that we subscribe to the podcast and check it out on Spotify, Apple, on YouTube, 
most of all check it out on my channel on my website manezafa.co.za that's where it is the link will be in the description of wherever you are to check more of the content there's more happening in the website man it's great fikiria kwa undani nduku asana nduku